if it's you know like the hasbro uh hasbro boards uh where you can't record anything or it won't work i don't know i don't want to do it because it works anyways we will summon so, my mom and she'll do nothing but castigate me the entire time <laughs> <laughs> so so hank hank comes the part-time medium and he's running one <laughs> uh so yeah he runs the seance and so after the seance there's a, there's a small short period probably um until after he left that the tapping started again um 10 days later hank returned um to kind of give it another shot and so as the hitchings family waited uh trying to kind of the, the Hitchings family, to kind of describe them, is like they were very devout religious people. They were uh, they were English. They were, they were you know church men, like devout members of the Church of England. Um, their grandma was also like old school, like they Irish were, Catholic. Yeah, so they oh. really didn't. They they so felt she like loved they were very. She loved <laughs> they they uh, they really felt like they they were more kind of logical people. They like they weren't really into the ghosts. Wait, she's like the fucking boondock saints. Um, you know, so uh, Kitty and Wally were kind of really out of sorts and out of place and felt out of place here in this this atmosphere of trying to, you know, interact with spirits and all of this thing. This think was not Kitty. in their wheelhouse. <laughs> this, well, speaking of wheels, Shirley, could you think of a worst position to be in? You're living in a house that's been paranormally activated. You're in the fucking middle of a poltergeist. It is 1956. I don't even think they've invented wheelchair ramps yet. And this lady is fucking wheelchair bound. You're not getting away from shit. Well, and also you're, you're at the will. Nothing. You're at the will to any polter gooses in the house. They're mm. gonna wheel you wherever you want. Do they exactly. even have locks on wheelchairs back then? I don't know, man. right? Like when, Terrifying. like I don't like wheelchair technology is advanced, but like, were there? Did they have the locks they could push down themselves, lock them in place? Well, this matter. Polter guys will pick you up. <laughs> yeah, a uh, uh, kitty. Kitty did suffer from uh, like severe chronic arthritis. Like, uh, so she Ouch. was she was wheelchair bound for most, uh, in mo for all of this, I suppose. Like her, and I suppose I think Ethel too was also pretty much like low she, mobility. Well, yeah, she uh, she had some like neuro de neurological deficits from a CVA supposedly. Yeah, she had bad She's knees from playing four, in uh, fucking six straight Pro Bowls. Yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um so uh when hanks came back and performed their their second seance he sadly felt like he couldn't he, he couldn't contact whatever was there whatever was surrounding uh surely he wasn't able to to kind of you know forge a link between them and, and communicate with it but he did offer wally the option of being uh to, to bring Shirley to his house in order to get a better sitting, uh, yeah, sleep able to, yeah, yeah, right? Right? Sleep here over. we go. Yeah, and here we go. And this is why I alluded with, I was like, maybe, uh, maybe I led, I don't know. But like the second when you're like, yeah, I don't know what's going on in your house. You know, what would help if your 15 year old daughter would come sleep over at my house. Are our daughter friends? I don't know. No. Are we just work acquaintances? Yes. Am I a part-time medium? A hundred percent. She should sleep Part-time medium, full-time pedo. Not right? Good. Like yeah. this this whole that thing, this whole, yeah. this whole thing. And it's like, he does such a cop-out where he's like, at, a, at the time when he's like, nothing's happening, he's like, let me go ahead and put myself in a trance. And he's sitting at their house and he's in like a trance for fucking hours. Right? And he's just sitting there. And he's like, nothing. Can your daughter sleep over at my house? Is that so cool? it was all a ploy just to get her sleep over at his house. That I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, we've seen these kind of uh, let's call them actors before, where they come in, they think they 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 talk about knowing what to do, and they don't. Right? Like this is a this is a tro <laughs> this is a movie trope. This right? is a like this see. is a Stan Roman Chuck. Well, I'm not I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure how mediums operate, but I'm sure there's like there's probably some connection they draw between having the poltergeist in its place as opposed to pulling it out to somewhere where you can operate as the person like in your home that you have the power. Listen, as opposed maybe to them being maybe poltergeist maybe poltergeist research at this time was pretty low, so I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that we didn't know a lot about the poltergeists. Uh, in this in this point of time but like what we know now is like they're pretty they're pretty like f fucking homeward bound like they're like ah eh, this is where i fuck around right here well no not necessarily they're they're attached to the person i, I guess the enfield one they moved it moved around too so yeah 
<laughs> uh, well, who uh, knows? It it's still I would be I would be I would be <laughs> I'd be like, ah, I'll come. <laughs> well, while he did agree, but he was going to go. I think he agreed that he was going to accompany her just to make sure it's safe because he does. Yeah, he does go. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. So uh, at this, uh, by this point, like the, the the sound and the idea that there is something, there's some type of entity within the house becomes so kind of uh, just ubiquitous to the to the hitchings. They they try to lighten the situation. They kind of just don't take it. Try not to take it as seriously to to I, for their own sanity, I suppose. And they start get they start to give it like nicknames of what it is since they don't know. Um, so they started referring to uh, it as a male. They gave it like a male persona and the name of him. And uh, I think two of the ones that they used were. Uh, at first, we're Charlie Boy and Spooky Willie. I fucking love it. That's what we're gonna call the fucking Poltergeist at Zell Studio. We're gonna call it Spooky Willie from now on. Like fucking enough of that, Spooky Willie. Well, he's not. A, no, I, I got a demon. It's different. It's more advanced. Yeah. It's more <laughs> demonic. advanced. It's more advanced than a Poltergeist. Demon Polter, yeah. Poltergeist wish they're demonic. But they haven't they haven't made the cut yet? You yeah. got to kill someone first, and that's. <laughs> That's how you. Be, that's how a poltergeist becomes a demon. It's actually gets like a ladder. It's a supernatural I ladder you have to climb. Did kill someone? That I don't know about. <laughs> did the studio did demon kill someone? Did I, did I don't know. About oh, not at the studio. No, I'm sure it killed someone I mean, before. The, oh. that, the foundation of the studio is built on dead bodies. This is an yeah, old house. I don't know what happened here before. Dead orphans. Everything. Well, yeah. when I was digging the foundation <laughs> for the garage where I built the studio, I did find some stuff that I can't say publicly. So. <laughs> yeah, because you put them there. No, I did not. Uh, you fucking you said that. Bastard. You, you said moved that. the headstones, but you didn't move the graves. <laughs> I just poured right over them. They're underneath my feet right now. <laughs> it was all pur purposeful, I'm sure. I picked this house. I, I searched the old newspaper records of Kelowna, found a house with a mass murder. Yeah. Sought it's, it out. It, it, the second Zell hits stop on his recording, you just hear child screams. <laughs> Non-stop. We, we, we have to edit those. <laughs> they weren't, no, they weren't. They weren't children. <laughs> children weren't murdered here. They were adults. Cell so just filters it out on his on his audio board. Like, just, it enhances like, recordings. That knob. Yeah. I'm gonna turn that knob down. The demonic forces yeah. actually enhance recordings in the studio. Uh, he's got a knob there. When you if you ever go to Meteor Studios to do some ADR or something, if you look closely, he's got a knob that it says "child screams" and it's to zero. Right, and that's just that's just his. He just makes sure it's uh, it's always at a, the lowest. He turns that up; it's just pandemonium. <laughs> Got to filter it out. So, according to one of the local newspapers, the Daily Express, uh, this was twenty the twenty first of February, nineteen fifty six. All five members of the Hitchings family, at some point, including their next door neighbors uh, and even the landlord, had by now seen some kind of poltergeist, what they described as poltergeist activity. So there were objects moving, um, you know, spontaneously or stuff wasn't where it was, the, the, where you remember it. They're like, you know, or things were getting turned upside down. Chairs were moving. You know, it, I mean, it's, it it's Craig T. Nelson seemed, time, like all this shit's going crazy. It definitely seemed like the radius of the activity is growing. And like, so is the popularity. Like, for for this kind of thing to hit the news, like, I mean, I would say at any time, that's fucking, that's you know, that's big news. We'd be like, to run it, you're in, a, you're writing a paper, you're like the fucking poltergeist activity. Like, obviously, it's gonna bring more eyes and more attention. And honestly, with my theory, make this thing stronger, right? Like, the more <laughs> mental power and attention you give this thing, the more you're feeding it. I think the more attention is key. Yeah. <laughs> um, so one of the, one of the big events that made it into the psychic news, and which you'll probably if you if you search up Battersea Poltergeist, this is what the the event that Wally described uh, of the events of the 25th of February 1956 is what stands out to most people, and in every article you'll pretty much see it. And this is um, this is kind of pulled from one of the descriptions that. Uh, is that Sh Sh Shirley said that her ped clothes were being pulled out from under her. So we all got a hold of them and we felt what was being tugged by force. And, and, and this is me inserting here, but if you remember the Watsaka wonder, this is almost like the exact same thing that happened during the Watsaka wonder. Like we talked about that, a thing where the bed clothes are like the sheets are being pulled off the bed. Right. right? And yeah. they're trying to, they're trying That's, to keep them on or whatever as well. 
Right. So well, uh, fucking Zell's experienced this kind of shit too. Like he felt a pressing on the bed. Like he's we I, have someone here who's experienced I, some listen, sort of poltergeist activity. I Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.